the package. Your orders are to destroy Sword Base, or are they? So, for those who haven't seen Halo Legends, that Halo anime I talked about, um, the package is a short in there. And it involves delivering Cortana, if I remember correctly. So I wonder what this could be about. What is all this then? Noble One, this is Noble Actual. Noble One, go ahead. We need that base taken out, son. What's your status? Well, we're dropping like flies. Noble Six is just dancing up here. Six, are you in position? Affirmative. Affirmative. Dorge and Burn. Yeah. ODST boys. We've got Kurt, Will, and Lewis. Lewis Villegas. Matt Williams. Kurt Nellis. Oops. This way. We'll follow you. this way, right. Falcon down. Watch for bodies. <laughs> I love video game water sometimes. Oh boy. Someone's taking a shalt shaker. Well, that went as poorly as I could have imagined it would have. Falcon down. Watch for bodies. Okay. You need to go. Some armor abilities over there, actually. I might need those. I don't know why they send people with me. They all die. Nope, there goes one. Oh, yeah, this is the same area as before, but it's been remixed. I think it's been flooded, in fact. Okay, I need... That, more than anything. Oh, only Will's alive. Hmm. And, of course, there are no uh, safeties up here. Oh, you bastards. Got to remember to talk into my microphone. That's where the noise happens. Bip. Yes, I'm aware. I know that I have to destroy the thing. God damn it. Is that a revenant? No, it's just a gun. Okay. That ought to make it easier. You are far too dangerous to be left alive, good sir. All right. Okay. A proactive solution is usually better. What? Oh, they destroyed their own thing. Good job, guys. Thanks. That really helps me out, you know? 
Oh, damn, I should have given them this. Ooh, a scorpion. Uh, I'll let you know, actually. Hop in, fellas. Alright. See, now if one of them had this fuel rod cannon that I had s just squandered, we would have had a much better time. Well, it's not the fastest thing in the world, I'll give it that, but it's certainly got the firepower. And you know what? That's that's all that, you know, you really need sometimes. Get a move on, Noble Six. Our Falcons are standing by. That fucking gun is still there. Didn't I kill you? This is another good example of asset reuse. Although it's a bit irritating because this is a level that we already went through uh, more than once. Because you go through Sword Base and then you head out of Sword Base... Then you go back to sword base. You know, in a big circular loop. So, you know, just like, what's the deal, right? And again, I guess it does make, like, logical sense. But what makes logical sense in real world terms is rarely the way to make a video game. Compare Call of Duty and how realistic it is to this. This is a much better and more fun video game and I'm not afraid to say that. Call of Duty is not as good as Halo. Oh, cool. You're damned right it is. Oh, man, what was that? All right, guess we're just going to do this again. Now, I know that it wouldn't actually make too much sense in a gameplay sense, but I would love if you could just whittle them down from the outside. They named it the Tyrant. I wonder who's in charge of naming shit at the UNSC. Like, I mentioned how they usually theme it, so, like, all their ships are the Banshee or the Ghost or the Phantom, the Wraith, the Revenant, etc. And, like, uh, for for the UNSC side, um, you know, they've got the Falcon, they've got the, the Warthog, the Pelican, the Mongoose. All their planes are named after birds and all their land vehicles after mammals. Who does that? Whose job is that, you know? Is it committee? Like, are there 20 votes in there for the squirrel? Like, guys, we can't name this vehicle the squirrel. Nor could we name any of the other 10 vehicles that we've named today the squirrel. Who keeps voting for this, you know? And now, as long as I get the hell away from this, I should be good, right? The elite was a, a bit of an issue. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, plasma rifle. Oh, cool. Never mind. I'll take this. I want this even more. Bliura. I don't have. Got all my ODSTs alive, which is even better. And 
now we won. Still got all three guys. And now we make the move. Oh, this thing's a lot bigger than I'm giving it credit for. Oh, God. They're all dead. They're all dead, guys. I've got to say, the concept of glassing a planet is really dope. You know, it's hideously destructive. One of the few things I actually know about Halo 5 is that uh, one of the visors is mentioned to be made out of reclaimed glass from the surface of Reach and other glass planets. It's called the Remembrance, I think. So your helmet has, like, the, the dirt sand that, you know, used to be a planet... Oh, man. Yeah, this is a for real war scene. It's slower, I'll give it that. I don't mind it. Oh, there goes the last. Just me and this giant fuck-off tank. It's none of us. Yeah, we all died. TPK. Okay. Yeah, the last level really honestly kind of isn't great. It's just, it's okay, but like, for a game that is so great, I feel like okay shouldn't really cut it, you know? Don't settle. Oh god. I tried to go. I was hoping that my small, tiny body could be more maneuverable, but uh, it was not to be. Is that a fuel rod over there? It is. Love that. Okay, so let's see if we can give Will the fuel rod. That might, um... All right. Oh, he's in the little gun. Okay, that's fine then. Should be a little more of a defensible position. Okay, now let's not bum rush into battle. Uh-oh. Damn it! <laughs> uh, yada, yada, yada. All right, I just had one of those, like, trailing thoughts where, like, he said clear. I thought of people using a uh, defibrillator. And then I thought of that TikTok of that guy doing CPR on a dummy. And uh, while he's just pounding it, he just slaps it in the face. Hey, how about you take the tank? Well, I'll be small maneuverable. They won't shoot at me, right? They will, but maybe they won't hit me. You know, this is actually one of my more get the hell out. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm botching it. Oh, please, Alfred. Oh, there's so many explosions per second. That was so good, though. That almost happened. I was almost the guy. You know, is there any wood on this planet? I know that there's like trees and all, but that's not what I mean. I mean, are there like, is there furniture? Or is it all sim wood, you know? Is it synthetic shit?
Yeah, we know your space mom died or whatever. Suck it up. We all got trauma. Oh, well. Okay, so maybe if I can... You know, I don't feel great about this Scorpion. I'm saying Scorpion on purpose, by the way. I know it's Scorpion. In uh, Fallout 1, if your intelligence score is so low while well, trying to do the side quest to kill scorpions, you will instead just shriek Scorpion whenever uh, someone suggests that you could go into the caves and kill some scorpions for some caps. It was like, Scorpion, if you have a one in intelligence. It really stuck with me, you know? My good friend Robert is more of a fan of the, uh, uh, the warm versus pizza debate. Um... I believe Fallout 3? Or it might be New Vegas. Uh, there's someone who asks you if you prefer, like, War or Peace, and your character's so stupid they literally can't pronounce it. And so your choices are Warm or Pisa. You know, decimate does not mean to destroy something. I was thinking about that because he said obliterated. Uh, hmm. Yeah, decimate means to reduce something by one tenth. Like, if you have ten of a thing to take away one and to leave nine, that's what decimate means. That's why it has the same, like, root word as, like, deci, you know? That's... A, like a decameter. Because it has nothing to do with destroying everything. It's you kill one tenth of a thing. That's a true fact from Rome, I believe. It would make sense considering that it's, you know, Latin. They pretty sure Roman people spoke Latin. It was one of the first things that they stole. They didn't speak, you know, Romanese. They uh, stole Latin from another uh, another culture. Yeah, I know. I'm. That's why I'm leaving. They're just milling around up there. Okay, so hopefully, I can be evasive enough. Okay. Okay. Is that what I need? I know. Hup. All right. That went pretty well. Um, and as soon as Will gets off screen, he's essentially, like, saved forever, right? Uh-oh. No, he's not. All right. Noble team. All four? All right. Bad start. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot, you know? Let's reintroduce yourself. What's your name? I'm Alfred. All right. It's the end of this. Oh boy. I didn't think that there would be a second shooter on the grassy knoll. Though honestly, I really should have anticipated it. See, running into a turret is not usually the ideal way to survive it. But if I don't have to go down there, why bother? Not mean. Because uh, nowhere else is safer. All right. Well, okay. Let's first let's take care of you. I need a second gun. Yours will do. All right. 
now. Is that thing up here still? It ain't. All right. Well, I see that they have replaced the giant tanks of Explodium. Oh, and of course, we got to go that way. Yippee skippy. Not this way. Can't go this way. Got to go that way. There we go. Kind of borked the animation a little bit, but that's okay. Elevators out. When this place been done, we're lucky anything still works. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm trying to aim for them, but uh, the shields does not make the turret gun a useful thing there. So I'm actually just going to leave it. Whoops. Hello, beautiful. I kind of wish the DMR was in more <gasps> games. I don't really like the battle rifle too much. There's a sexy man. Did that waste 10, <laughs> 10 rounds of it? Wrong guess. <laughs> All right. Bastards. Bastards. All right. God damn, that thing is so fucking cool. I love the energy sword so much. It is still just so iconic. Can't wait to go back to Halo 1 and use it. Because you know what? I like Halo so much, I'm just going to keep playing it. Eh, I've got plasma. In a manner of speaking, I've got this thing, but, you know. Please be seats at the pre-arranged coordinates. Crystal. You know as much as I do, more than four. Did I ever talk about Anti-Dot on this? Um, Anti-Dot is a so-called dumb AI. Uh, AIs are grouped into smart and dumb in Halo. Smart ones are ones that can learn and adapt. Dumb ones are ones that cannot. Their invisibility worked. I'll give them that. Any dots a dumb AI. Dumb AIs are better at running everything just because they, you know, can't go crazy. Smart AIs can go crazy. Um, it's what happens when you give human level intelligence to something that thinks faster than a supercomputer. Um, essentially, they, I believe they almost like think themselves to death. It's a really cool concept because, like, essentially they think so much that they think themselves, you know, literally to death because they just do so many calculations that a human would take 10 seconds to figure out, and they do it in nanoseconds. And just doing that for too long means that they go very, very rapidly senile. Hmm. Bad sign. 
Maybe I can keep... Actually, wait. That's me. Go, go shoot it. That's one. That's me. Didn't they uh, nerf the shield regen after Halo 3? I think they did. I mean, obviously they nerfed it after Reach. Or sorry, after uh, 3 specifically because of ODST has no regeneration. But yeah, going back to Halo 2 is probably going to be a very good time. I believe Halo 2 is one of the easiest ones, so playing on Heroic won't be a big deal. Um, it's got a bunch of other things that should help out. Now, does anyone know why there isn't a checkpoint here? This is the perfect place for one there is I was just rushing through it well that's perfectly fine then first I pop you all right and I just get a little top off here <laughs> got him that too. That's three. Oh, man. It looks like there's five elites in here, which is one per sword swipe. Actually, wait. Got to take down the... Balloonman first. Damn. It's got me focused down. I'm playing kind of dumb, though. I've been recording all day. Of course, that's also my fault, because I didn't have to record all day, but I digress. Now let's try something a little dangerous. Whoops. I'm glad I missed. Oh, there goes one. There was two, but I died. See, that's the thing about the sword. It's so not a great weapon because uh, firearms were invented. <laughs> Tell you what, Bungie is getting their fucking money's worth out of this door opening animation. Like, yes, it is a one hit kill, but you do have to face fuck them for it to be worth it. For it to work, even. And if only there was, like, a small sword that I could, like, throw at someone from a distance, you know? Or if there was some sort of, like, mechanical apparatus that allowed me to just propel it from, you know, from the machine. I think that would be, uh, I think that would move sword technology up a little bit. Oop. Oop. Damn. Clip me. <sighs> right the engineer engineer names are so interesting um, so engineers are not born exactly they are organic technology and they're built by other engineers um, they're made of like recycled components hey handsome um, yeah they're, so they're made of recycled components and the they float they're, they're, they're living gas bags you know like a niche so they float on the power of you know 
whatever gas is in them. And their uh, name is determined based on how they float at birth. So there's a really notable one called Lighter Than Some, uh, a notable engineer that is named Lighter Than Some, because at birth he could float a little better than most engineers could. Well, we, did you shoot me? Um. Oh, cool. Jeez. Gotta go back and get that health pack. There you go. The engineers are built by other engineers. That's how they come about. They're literally just organic technology to the point of being, like, made instead of born. And to them, that's just what normal birth is, you know? It's one reason that, like, parlaying with him is very, very unusual and hard to do. Anyway, we'll be right back. Looks like they got themselves cornered, or were committed to the position. I'm going with cornered. There's nothing here. No load-bearing columns either. Sir... If we're supposed to blow this place, this ain't the spot to do it from. Dodd, check your vector. Vector confirmed, Commander. We are precisely where Oni has directed. Apologies. Coordinates revised. Please confirm. Revised? My AI of unknown origin, whose clearance is well above my own. I wonder well, who that could be. It's pointing us a click and a half east and 2,000 feet underground. I didn't do my job, Commander. <laughs> Sir, I say we go AI free on this one. Obviously, these coordinates are junk, and the longer we go chasing them. What is this, Dot? Our revised route, Commander. All right, we came this far. Always good when your commander's like, eh, why not? Yeah, you always want to have the guy with the shotgun behind you. I know he's the rear guard, but also he should really be on point. Oh, my artist just texted me. Always oh, a delight. Your new AI friend tell you anything else, Dot? Dot. She's been expecting you. That's perfect. Apologies for the unusual security measures, Commander, but the stakes demand it. Dr. Halsey, casualty reports have you listed as... Yes, well, as they say, news of my death has been greatly exaggerated. Hey, guys, remember Mark Twain? Fuck that guy. We all do, ma'am. It may please you to learn that the data module Noble 2 procured from Visegrad Station contained precisely what my scientist promised. A latchkey discovery. It has unlocked, at last, the secrets of this excavation. Not sure I understand. Your orders were a pretext to bring you to me and have been overridden. You are here, Team Noble, to ensure the delivery of this vital data to a secure location. Doctor, our orders are to destroy all sensitive your materials. Others will Dude, handle. your orders were literally never that. Colonel Holland will be briefed. You belong to Oni now. I don't really like Dr. Halsey. I don't know what it is. Before you is an alien artifact neither human nor covenant in origin, advanced beyond our comprehension until now. Thanks to Noble 2, the decrypting of its data is nearly complete. Whatever we're doing down here, we better do it quick. Have your data ready, ma'am. We're coming to you. The decrypting process is still underway. I don't think you understand. We're out of time. If it isn't portable when we reach you, it's gonna get buried. Bury any of it, and you bury mankind's best chance for survival. Okay, then you die. Commander, and so does everyone else. What the Spartans died for? They died for this. 
please buy me all the time you can. Go play the firefight map that this is. Excuse me, I'm just rubbing my microphone on my face. This is a beautiful place, though. Spartans, you cannot allow the Covenant to break through the door to my lab. Understood. Let's give the doctor the time she needs. All right. Let's kick some ass. I guess. Noble team, there are four defense turrets to assist you in defending the lab. Get them online and quick. Oh, defense turrets assist in defending, I see. Much damage, they'll shut down to recharge. It's called the you wolf spider. I don't remember this level. I've like hardly done it. Like I remember it more being a firefight map than being a level. This is kind of surreal. I guess as a kid I almost never played this one because I didn't like it as much. It's very story heavy, naturally. Also as like the penultimate level, it's you know. By the way, we're very close to the end. Noble Six, go do the footwork. Bring back the coffee. I like it black, but you have to get the right kind. I won't tell you which. I need more time. Whatever you have to do, do it. We know. Yeah, I don't like Dr. Halsey. For those who don't know, Cortana is a revolutionary AI because she is a smart AI whose creator is still alive. Um, normally, for a smart AI to encode it, you have to donate the brain. Uh, but using some semi-legal, kind of sketchy cloning processes, Dr. Halsey cloned just her brain and used it to scan in Cortana. That's how Cortana is, you know, that's how she exists. Really, guys? There goes my artist again, if anyone hears that. I assume she will, actually, since she'll probably watch this episode. She's probably a big Xbox baby like me, right? Shit. Thanks, turret coon. Oop, frame drops. Hmm. I was hoping that I can get in close enough to stab him, but, uh... It looks like it's not in the cards. Whatever. Gun Coon will be there for me. I'm gonna start moving up on B because. Uh oh. I'm going to attempt to move up on B because uh, B is currently under a load of attack. Um, I just played Sanctum for the first time in uh, probably about eight years today. Um, for those who don't know, Sanctum is a hybrid tower defense and first person shooter. And it's certainly okay. That's, you know, it's kind of weird. That's all I can say about it. It's definitely an okay game. I don't know if it's good. I don't even know if I'd recommend that you buy it. Oh, A went down. Damn. Well, maybe I can. Oh, okay. That's fine. Dude, that's so not cool. Well, knowing that, maybe I can, uh, oh yeah, A is getting killed more. When I looked, uh, it was, uh, it was B, but, um, I suppose it's not always the case. Asshole. Honestly, my least favorite member of Noble Teen is probably Carter. He's just so lame, you know? He's like, hey, I'm Redfield. I'm the generic white guy that you can kind of put yourself onto. Even though you have a character that you can put yourself onto because they are a completely blank slate that you are just permitted to make into a canvas, you know? This is the Spartan that you paint yourself into. I'm going this way. Or maybe I'm going this way. This was dumb. I shouldn't have come over here. I, uh, I'm so used to the firefight map that I keep getting lost. Also, now that, uh, now that I'm actually here, 
C is getting more damage than A or B. Of course, now that time is reset. Maybe we can just stay in the middle. Maybe that's the way to go. There's a wraith. I can hear it boosting, and I can hear the the. I can see the shots. Yoink. Now, it would be great if Noble Team could help me out there. Oh, I actually do remember this level. I don't remember the guns. But I remember, like, it. I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen. Whatever, it's probably fine. Man, you know you've got a big fuck-off cave when you can have vehicles of different size fly in here. Good track, though. Reminds me of this one track from uh, Doom 1. I think it's uh, E1M6. It's like do do poop do do poop do 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 And then the drums go on for like a minute. This is an absolute balls of a theme. You know, I wonder if people who have misgivings about my command of English watch these videos because they're certainly gonna hate how I speak in them. Already, my command of this stupid language is uh, not ideal. Hey, we got a checkpoint. I just kind of invent new words and meanings whenever I feel like it. I feel like that's the way that everyone should go about it. Well, not everyone. Some people are stupid. Me, on the other hand, I know how to pretend to be smart. Allegedly. And maybe we can download Halo 3 for Steam and finish the fight. Man. I've got to say, I'm honestly still kind of upset that Halo came back. You know? Like, the whole thing was finish the fight. That was the end of Halo. Like, 3 concluded, and it was the end of Halo. And then ODST came out, and, you know, it's not about Chief... It's a prequel, it's between 2 and 3, so it should really be called Halo 2 ODST. Um, so, like, you know, whatever, that's fine, I don't care. And then Reach comes out, and it's like, well, the fight is clearly unfinished because this is also a prequel, and it's in the past. And Halo Wars is similarly a prequel. And it's also not a shooter, so, like, yeah, sure, fine, whatever. And then just... Four comes out, and it's like, Chief has to do other things. Let him rest. He's had a long day. You know? Like, that iconic scene in Halo 3, Legendary, you know what that should have been? Don't wake me up. Don't fucking need me. Just let me fucking sleep. Sincerely, Master Chief. Who's writing this in a letter, I guess. I think there's a book or something where Chief actually talks about how he spent more time in a pod than out. And how he hopes to, like, fix that. And then he spends, like... <laughs> it's like it's, something, it's some hilarious number, like, 30 years in between Halo 3 and 4. Frame drops. Am I still recording? I am, and the recording is going on quite a while. Uh... That reminds me, though, I've got to go get those generators back online. To this end, I will get Sprint. Get those generators back online! What is happening? Alright, now where's the activate? There it is close, honestly. Uh-huh. I'm the superior race. <laughs> the Covenant... <laughs> so, for those who don't know, the Forerunners actually did, like, explicitly pick out humanity to be, like, the next, like, evolution or whatever the hell. 
And the Covenant, like, see that and just pretend to have not seen it. They're like, well, you know, that was just, that was just a single interpretation of it. You know, it's not, it's not really what they said. You know, it's, it's, about the, it's about the allegory of it. It's not a literal story. It's, you know, you're supposed to be inspired to commit genocide by it, you know? That's our Bible, everyone. Maybe I can just camp out here. Let the gun do the work for me. Hey, you can go to checkpoint. Turret guns are the way to victory. I'm an engineer. That means I solve practical problems. Um, <laughs> the Covenant be like the Forerunner said that it's my turn with the galaxy, demon. The package is almost ready. Just a little more. Just gotta hack this door or pick this lock. Yeah, this level honestly a little weird because it's like, uh, hey, do you guys know about firefight? It's very just like this is what firefight is if you've never played it, you know. Get your defenses ready, six. My defenses. We're supposed to be a team, you dickhead. There are four guns here, and there's four living members of Noble Team. There is no reason you can't all start pulling your ass. That lone wolf stuff stays behind. Here, you're going to have to do all your work for us instead of just for yourself, by yourself. Yeah. Fight for me. Dance, you ants. I read today that only seven zealots show up in the entire game, which makes sense considering that Bungie is just... Bungie fillets the number seven, if you guys don't know. Every single important number is usually either seven or a multiple of it. Well done, Spartans. I'm opening the laboratory door. Get in there, my son. It's an engineer. You know what? I'll let you live. As long as I can just run by everyone, it doesn't matter, right? Doors open, Noble Six. Get to the lab. Yeah, you have to do it. Give me some Skittles while you're over there, too. Card's a fucking asshole. No, activate. Okay. No, nope, I'm in danger. Maybe he won't notice me. Hey, buddy. And amazingly, he won't. Alright. I guess I'm just too good at video games for my own good. Sometimes my intellect is just scary. Meanwhile, that's Cerebro. The big globe from X-Men, not the singer who makes stripper music. A birthright from an ancient civilization. What an asshole. This AI is its custodian, and she has chosen you as her couriers. Then you will be cucked by a greenman. By an AI. By this AI, yes. Her measure of you carries as much weight as my own, perhaps more. You are to take her to the UNSC shipbreaking yard in Azad. There, you'll find a Halcyon-class cruiser waiting to get her off planet. I understand. Do you? Mankind is outmatched. When Reach falls, and it will fall, our annihilation is all but certain. Unless you can glean from this artifact a defense against the Covenant. A game changer. On the level of the conical bullet in the 19th century, or faster than light travel in the 23rd. And despite the fact that it's been a couple thousand years or whatever, we still haven't evolved past those things. There is not.
Take it, Lieutenant. She has made her choice. She wants the one who controls the checkpoint system. And once the cutscene has it away from you. Say the words, please. I have it. Don't make normal six talk, it's weird. Dr. Halsey, Noble 3 will escort you to Castle Base. I require no escort, Commander. June, make sure nothing falls into enemy hands. I'll do what's necessary, sir. Good luck. I'm going to fly this plane with a revolver pressed against her temple. <laughs> if a Covenant even sneezes at her, bang. She cannot fall into enemy hands or eyes. I need a heading dot. At three kilometers north, turn right, heading zero five zero. Which leads to the ship breaking yards in the Zod. The only off planet extraction point left on this continent. Small scale air attacks have decimated many convoys en route. An armada of Covenant cruisers is hastening to the site as well. UNSC cruiser Pillow of Autumn is awaiting your arrival. Hey guys, remember Halo One? All right, the Pillar of Autumn. Oop. Noble leader. Yep. Okay. Oops. Let's pull up the recording. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, this is coming up on the end. We are rapidly barreling towards it at a speed uncompared to. Um. I won't talk about what I'm going to do after this next. Uh, and I've really covered everything that I really wanted to in this episode. Um, yeah. I've been Alfred. This has been Halo Reach. Stay curious. Lame, wet part of an inning, I know. But uh, I'm running out of things to say about this game, considering we're running out of game. <laughs>